Hello everybody, are you looking to buy and sell a house at the same time? Well, that's the topic of today's video. Buying and selling a house at the same time, that is the topic of today's video. Hello everybody, my name is Mark Schreier and I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate right here in Sayosset, Long Island. Today I'm going to give you four tips to help you move forward with that double transaction. Let's get into tip number one. Actually, there'll be five because tip number one is sit down with a mortgage professional and discuss all your finance options. Everybody's situation is unique to themselves. Find out what they are. Find out how much you can afford moving forward if you're, if you're using a mortgage and find out how much naturally is left on your current mortgage and what your options are financially. So I'm going to give you four things you can do to help you move forward with that game plan once you know your financial options. You can A, keep both houses, or one, keep both houses you choose, use one as an investment property and you know for rental, rent it out, and the other one as your primary residence. Understand if you're going to utilize a mortgage, and this is where the mortgage profession would come in, usually a second property is considered an investment property and it comes with a higher uh, finance rate than a traditional uh, first property. So make sure you discuss that with that. Number two, buy and sell the house at the same time. For some of us, that's an easy thing to do financially. If you have the money, you can buy one and sell one. You don't have to worry about the timing or anything else. But for most people, it is a financial problem and also a timing problem. The way you can um, eliminate some of those issues is one, you can use a bridge loan, and a bridge loan is basically exactly what it sounds like. It is a short-term loan that will fill the gap or the void in the finances that you have. So you currently own your house A that you're living in, you wanna buy home B. You can use the bridge loan for a down payment and also to satisfy the closing costs. And then once you sell home A, you pay off the bridge loan. Understanding, higher percentage rate, uh, on those bridge loans and also some pricey closing costs. Discuss that with your mortgage professional or your local bank to find out what exactly that entails to see if that's a viable option for you. Also, if you're going to buy and sell at the same time, a tip is to try to use the same title company to do the title search because everything is in-house. They know they're selling this one, they're buying that one. Use the same mortgage company. If you're using a mortgage, all the funds are staying in-house. And if possible, if you're staying local, use the same attorney. So it'd be very easy and try to time everything on, on the same date. You do the closing on one house in the morning, close it on the other house in the afternoon, and everything can run smoothly in a perfect world. Again, in a perfect world, but that doesn't always happen. So that would be a very good scenario if it was able to go. Uh, one thing I want to mention is stay tuned to the very end of this video. I'm going to be giving away a free seller's guide. So if you're looking to sell your house, this is a free guide to help you save some money, some do-it-yourself things that you can do to improve the property value of your house. Look for that at the latter part of this video. Back to number four, seller's contingency. You, on a seller's contingency, you're going looking at houses and you're making offers contingent upon the sale of your house. Understand that if it is a seller's market, a seller's contingency offer is not a good way to go because if somebody's getting multiple offers on their property, a property with a seller's contingency is not considered as strong as somebody making an offer with the same credit rating, the same uh, dollar amount. One with the seller's contingency is not as good as an offer as the same offer without that contingency all else or all, all of the things being equal okay and number five sell your house first get a temporary place to live and then once you've sold your house whether you're living in a hotel or a family or a friend's house once you sold the house then you can go out looking for the new place for you to live and now you sell what we call you're, you're an unattached buyer which you have much better terms than somebody who's attached to a property, like I mentioned a moment ago. I hope this wasn't too confusing for you. Again, remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, leave some comments below. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and thanks again for watching. Hello, yes, I'm talking to you, the person that watched my video to the very end. 
Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook. I am a licensed real estate agent in New York State, but I also have a referral service that deals nationwide. So if you're looking for to buy or sell a house anywhere in the United States, please send me a text, contact me via phone, and I'll set you up with a local professional in your area. If you're in my vicinity, I'd be more than happy to help you out in any of your real estate transactions that you'd like. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and I'll talk to you soon.